This is one of the most important tricks for hard surface modeling. If you understand this shit, you're gonna be able to make your models look a lot more realistic and you're also gonna be able to optimize them for performance. So there's three different ways that you can control your edges in Blender. You can mark sharps, you can use mean crease, or you can use bevels. So I'm going to show you the difference between those three things and what you can use them for. So let's say you want to add some smooth shading to your object, but you don't want every part of the object to have smooth shading. All right. Here's an example. We want the back part of this object to have smooth shading because it's supposed to be round, but we don't want the front to be smooth because the front is supposed to stay sharp. It doesn't look good if it has smooth shading on it. And you can easily control this by just marking some edges as sharps. So we're basically going to tell Blender to exclude certain edges from smooth shading. And to do that, you just have to select some edges, press Control E and mark sharp. And now you have to go to your object data properties tab on the right side here. You have to find the normals menu, check auto smooth and crank that shit all the way to 180. Now the edges that you marked as sharps are not going to have any smooth shading like you see in this example right here. If we apply this to other edges now as well, now we have full control over what's smooth and what's not. The curved smooth areas have smooth shading on them, but the sharp corners do not have smooth shading on them, which is exactly the look that we're going for in this case. Now mean crease is used when you apply the subdivision surface modifier to your model and it subdivides everything, but you don't want everything to be subdivided. For example, in this case, we want to subdivide this model, but we don't want the front face to be subdivided because it looks like shit. So the same way that we mark that edge as a sharp to have sharp shading on it, we can increase the mean crease of these edges to make them sharper in the subdivision surface. And to do that, just select some edges, Press N to open this menu on the side in edit mode. Find the item menu, open the transform box right here and set the mean crease down here to one. As you can see now, this part of the model is no longer subdivided. Now, if you also mark this edge as a sharp, now you have a perfect combination. So now this part of the model, not only is it not subdivided, but it also has sharp shading. But the best way to improve your edges in Blender is to bevel them. And I'm gonna show you why. Now, when you use sharps and the mean crease, your edges are going to become sharper, but they don't look very realistic. But if you take an edge which is subdivided and it has smooth shading and you just apply a small bevel to it, which has a shape of one, now you contain the subdivision within this bevel. So now the edge has some really realistic reflections on it if you look at it very closely. And you can compare this to an edge which has marked sharps and look at the difference between those two. And the best part is that you don't have to have subdivision surface on your model if you want to use this. You can also just have a low poly edge you can get close to it and apply a small bevel with the same shape of one and it's going to look like it's a lot rounder than it actually is, okay? Just because you added some geometry close to this edge, the smooth shading is contained in that bevel now. So from a distance, the edges are going to have the same realistic reflections on them. So this is one of the most important things when you want to create realistic edges. Now, here's an example of how I use this on one of my models, okay? I'm modeling this Lamborghini Countach center console from a Patreon course. And I have these little AC grills on the side right here. And if you look very closely, yeah, they're subdivided, but even if they're not subdivided, they have smooth shading applied to them. But I just made a small bevel on these corners so I can control the reflections off these edges. And this really improves the overall realism of the model because the edges just reflect in a natural way. If you don't have this and your edges are not going to look very realistic at all, they're just going to look too sharp and the shading between them is not going to make much sense. So try all three of these techniques and let me know which one is your favorite in the comments. Also, let me know what you want to see next and I'm going to see you guys in the next video.